What's up guys and welcome back once again to Diddy Reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at another cooler. It's a low profile cooler this time. Another one from Be Quiet. Uh, thank you for Be Quiet for sending us out again. Um, you've been really supportive so I really appreciate it. Thank you. Today we're looking at the Pure Rock LP. This is a brand new cooler for small form factor builds. So let's get it unboxed, have a look and then we'll put it in the test system. So this is the Pure Rock LP. This is a low profile cooler as the name suggests uh, from Be Quiet. Um, I'm expecting big things from this because it's Be Quiet and their products are generally absolutely fantastic. Um, but we'll have a look. Um, first of all, it's a 100 watt TDP, so it is meant for small form factor, low power CPUs. And today it will be used on a 5600G um, to test. Let's have a quick look at the specifications and then we'll get it unboxed and have a look further into the uh, performance. So it comes with a 92mm fan on top, which is a 92 by 15 thick, so it's a low profile f fan as well. And the dimensions are 92 by 92 by 45 for the entire cooler. Um, so it's really, really small, um, so it so should fit the smallest builds, which is going to be in a in-wind Chopin Pro today, um, which is really, really small, um, so you'll be able to see that. Um, it's aluminium and the support for the sort of CPU fitting is Intel 1700, 1200, 1150, 1151, 1155 and also AM4 and AM5 for AMD um, so it will support the latest uh, sockets um, whether it will be good enough to call a, a new AM5 CPU I'm not sure but obviously I don't have the capability to test that at the moment uh, and then the rated sort of uh, noise level is 13 at 50% 23 decibels at 75 percent and 30 at 100 percent um, so i'll do a little test on that as well and the fan spins up to 2500 rpm and should last for around 80,000 hours apparently um, so let's get it unboxed and have a look so this is the cooler itself and it looks so cute <laughs> it looks really really nice i like this um yeah i'm a big fan of this um completely black um as is a lot of uh, be quiet stuff and wow it looks absolutely brilliant i really really like that that looks lovely um yeah <laughs> there's not a lot more to show you about it obviously it's quite a, a dense fin, uh, fin sort of stack on there nice little fan on there and um, with their sort of standard uh, fan blades with the sort of ridges in them um to try and keep it quiet i believe to stop the turbulent airflow be quite branded on the sides um and the fan is actually screwed onto it, um, so none of those stupid clips, which I really like to see. Uh, I, hate, I hate those clips. And you've got a standard PWM fan connector there as well. Uh, and that's it, guys. Um, that's basically all you need to know about it. Obviously, you get all your fittings in the box. It comes pre-applied with thermal paste. Um, so let's get it in, and uh, we'll have a look at how it performs. Right, so there we have the test results, and I've just shown you a little bit of what it looks like. Obviously, there's not a lot to see. It is a small uh, sort of cooler, so it's not RGB or anything like that to show you on it. Um, but it does look pretty nice, and it's nice and sleek and sort of minimalistic and looks really good. Um, so let's get on with the sort of results. Um, tested on a 5600G on an A520i AC gigabyte motherboard um, with 16 gigs of RAM, uh, 3200. Um, crucial ram um so just done some testing for obviously just for temperature and that's all i'm looking for on this this test and um so a ram a sort of normal sort of suite i would use for testing this um so anyway um it idled at around 28 degrees um obviously after a bit of time that idle came up a little bit to around 33 and um, but it, when it first switched on it was looking around 28 degrees until I started doing a few little bits um so idle 28 degrees absolutely perfect no problem with that whatsoever uh, and then I did a, a Cinebench, Cinebench run, a Shadow of the Tomb Raider run, and a Time Spy CPU run, just to give sort of a, a broad sort of figures, um, so you can see what sort of you can be expecting out of this cooler. Obviously Cinebench is a worst case scenario, and then obviously Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a gaming scenario, and Time Spy is sort of a in-between kind of thing, really, I'd say. Um, so Cinebench, multi-core, five minutes, um, stock settings on the 5600G, and we've got a maximum of 80 and an average of 73, which is brilliant to be fair it's for such a small little cooler. I didn't expect it to be sort of like 60s or anything like that. Um, so 80 is absolutely fine. You, you're miles off sort of your maximum that you want to be getting to. So um, yeah, not a bad result at all. And again, that is the worst case scenario you're going to get. Um, so it's not really going to get to that during sort of normal use. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider 
ran at 720p low settings because obviously it's a 5600G, it can't really do a lot more than that. Um, on Shadow the Zoomer is difficult to run. And we had a maximum of 61 and an average of 47 on the benchmark test. Um, again, absolutely brilliant, not a problem at all. So for light gaming, again, this is, is perfect for this. And then Time Spy CPU test, um, we got a maximum of 61 and an average of 46. Again, pretty much the same as Shadow Tomb Raider. Um, not a problem with that at all. Very good result. I uh, can't complain at all. Um, I also did Decibel test, as I said I would do in the start. Um, people have asked for this uh, in other videos, so I, uh, I've start, I'm going to start doing this through, through most callers now. Um, as the with this build, this is the only fan in the case, so you're getting a true representation of the sort of noise levels uh, of this, which is quite good as well. So, um, yeah, so 100%. So, fan max chat 20, I think it ran about 2400. Um, so, it was going max chat uh, 29 decibels. So, and it's quite a, quite a subtle sound as well. 75% um, 26 decibels and 50% only 21 decibels. So, in terms of quiet. It's absolutely brilliant. It's be quiet. Um, what what more can you expect, really? To be honest with you, from be quiet, the the their stuff is absolutely brilliant. And again, thank you to them for sending this out for review. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely yeah absolutely made up with this caller. It's absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely perfect as well for this build. This in wind shaping build. It's tiny. Um, I used to have the thermal right X47 full copper in there, and that was pushing right up against the the mesh panel. Whereas this, we've got a little bit of clearance in there for this one, so it's perfect for this. If you're looking at this sort of build, small, tiny HTPC build, this is definitely the one for you. Um, make sure you check it out. Uh, I can definitely recommend it for a small form factor build. Don't be putting it on sort of 5900Xs, 7900Xs and stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, although you'd probably be able to run it, your boost clocks would be way down um, because it's not rated for that. It is only rated for 100 watt TDP. And your 7900Xs and stuff are like 175, I believe, so they're way above what this is rated for. So like I say, your your clocks are going to come way down to, to compensate for that for the cooling. So you're not going to get it on something like that or a 3900K or anything like that. It's not a good idea for those. It is for small form factor builds. So if you are looking for a cooler for a small form factor build, like I say, an APU build, um, I'd say is the best case scenario for this, um, then yeah, definitely get, go and check this out. I'll put links in the description below for you to see uh, more details on it and hopefully I'll put some places in where you can buy it. At the time of recording, this isn't out, um, so this will be going live after it's been released. Um, so at the time of recording, you probably won't be able to buy it anywhere. Um, so I'll try and remember to update the uh, description with a link of where you can actually buy it as well. Um, so yeah, looking for a small form factor uh, CPU cooler. Um, you want something really, really small to fit in the tiniest of cases. Then go for this, only 45 mil high with the fan included, so it's absolutely tiny. Um, it's absolutely brilliant as well. Can't can't fault it enough. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, dislike, and comment, depending on how you feel about this video. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.